when a ruler is useless, you depose him. And therefore, we have deposed Kwame Nkrumah. We don't want tyranny or anything here. And I, was, I was sharing the same office with him. I sat near the door, there's a small table there. He, he had this table there, he would table over the other side. But most of the time, if we are free, I will be walking around and at times we will call and send me to call somebody to do all the to do other things. This man so I was I was I was very you no know, the, the fact is I was very close. ever happened in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yes. February twenty four 1966. This school was carried out completely because of the things that had happened in Ghana and of the, of the, uh, because of the tyranny and the partisan of Kwame Nkrumah, the deposed president. Everybody in Ghana was fed up with it. Chris Hesse was only a 24 year old when he left the then Gold Coast Film Unit and was seconded to the office of the president. Our independence is meaningless unless it is linked up with the total liberation of the African continent. When I went to Hanoi, went to Burma, to India, then to Russia, then to China. When China were going to Hanoi, when the coup came. They do not tell us that we should unite that we are all as good as we are able to make ourselves once we are free the day after the announcement there will be confusion in the ghana camp and the coup in ghana means means something all of us, they had no address. Yeah. We well, are the message of the Chinese government. I just want to give them the assurance that I am on my way to Accra. I am on my way to Ghana. Then, I didn't... Well, I didn't understand his... the mood in which he was. I couldn't understand. Mm, but... I understood him when we were flying back to Moscow. All the ministers left the president. Then they said, what, is, what has happened in Ghana is what is going to happen over the continent of Africa. There will be several coups. Several coups and we continue, we continue, we continue until the whole of the continent, the whole of our will go down into the pit. And then the new Africa will grow out of the ashes. Unlike many of the people on that trip who were thrown into jail on returning to Ghana, Hesse went on to become one of the country's best filmmakers of all time, working as a videographer for all presidents who came after Kwame Nkrumah. He headed the Ghana Film Corporation, which Nkrumah had established, worked there for more than 30 years until he retired in the year 2000. From Nkrumah, he went to Guinea, where he would eventually die in 1972. Justice Beidou, join us. Accra. You know, be you talk, say, my beloved country is free forever. But your people still is so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah.